What do you remember from the first time we met? Ha, huh. that's actually interesting You'll because... Be screaming, probably. <laughs> no, I don't actually remember that right now. Because I, I remember when Snook was born and Ty was born, but for some reason I don't remember when you were born. Yeah, you can never remember what you want to remember. <laughs> but when you're just thinking about something else, all of a sudden, oh, wait, now I remember. Yeah, it'll right. come to me later now. I'll be thinking about it. I, I guess instead I'll, I'll uh, mention an early memory of when you were a little baby. You were sitting on this little bouncy chair, and there was this bluebird in the middle, and you used to look at it and smile. It always made you smile, and it just made me really happy because I love little birds, and I love that you love the little bird. <laughs> what are you hesitant to tell me? Hmm. Probably that I don't, I really don't like when we argue. See, I was hesitant just then when I said it. You don't like when we argue? No, I hate it. Yeah, I don't like it either. I try to apologize afterward, at least, because uh, I think that's important for us when we realize that we feel bad about something to let the other person know instead of just letting it go. But we always kind of resolve things afterward, don't we? Yeah, true. We don't leave angry with each other. We Except you usually win. I do? Because you say period and then you walk away. Oh, really? Yeah, you say, you say like, um, like, um, like, like, stop arguing, I win. And then I never say I win. Well, you're, you're like, you're like period, which is basically like saying, oh, like I say, stop discussion. arguing, yeah, yeah, I win. I'm definitely right. Okay. When you were my age, what scared you the most? Hmm. Probably dying. Hmm. That scared me a lot, like a couple of years ago. I was like, like, oh my God, am I gonna die? Am I gonna, die? we're all gonna die someday. It's gonna... <laughs> I remember that too. Yeah, it's a very disturbing thought, no, knowing that one day we're gonna be pshht, kaput, not in existence. But it might not be true, we might be there somewhere, somehow. Yeah, like in spirit, like like shade. Like shade? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's true. I hope so. What worries you the most? What worries me the, you the, mo me the most? Um, being alone in the dark, I guess. That, that's like one of my worst fears. It's like one of my phobias. Cause it's just like, oh my God. Oh, there could be something right around that corner. I'm not gonna check. Like most people do in horror movies where they like, like hear knocking on the door at like 12 o'clock, they check. Why, you, why did you just check that? Why don't, I would have jumped out the window and, or at least like, like picked up some sort of weapon and walked up to the door and like opened it so that they wouldn't know there. And you're just hiding in the door, and then they come out and they're like, and you just like, bop, like, and then you throw them out your, wi check them out your window, <laughs> and they're like, oh come on. Well, they do it because they want to be assured that there's nobody there, just like you check and under your bed. And then there is always, always. Just in the horror movies. Not in real life. Sure. In real life, it's never, never, never. Well, almost never. Yeah, sometimes there actually is, and then you die. <laughs> Which is why it's better to bring a weapon. Life lessons here. How are you raising me differently than my sisters? Oh, that's, I like that question. Wow. In a lot of ways, because I was so much younger with them, and I was dumber. <laughs> yes. And I was like, oh, I'm not going to be one of those dumb moms who has a bedtime for their kid. Oh my so, God. Although it's I kind of. It's dumb. It is dumb. I think I'm more patient. I enjoy it more because this is, I feel like this is the right age for people to have children. I honestly don't think anyone should have children before the age of 30. 
seriously. Like I'm always talking to people about that and talking them out of it if they think about it. Yeah, no, uh, nobody uh, should have kids before 30. Didn't say the magic word. I don't feel like you're keeping me from something. You're adding to my life. You're like uh, all good, you know? Whereas with them, which breaks my heart, it was like a combination of really great stuff in my life, but also like, gosh darn it, I want to live life and I have to babysit these kids all the time because they're mine, you know? Whatever I see come up with them that I'm like, uh oh, now I see I did something wrong. Let me try to improve it for this time around. Okay. Okay. Your turn. My, my turn. Okay. When are you proudest of me? When you're doing something like nice and I'm like friends around. I'm like, that's my mom. She's awesome. Like oh. that. What are you learning from me? What am I learning from you? To see more beauty and not notice ugliness, maybe. For but me? Yeah. Are you sure that's me or someone else? <laughs> I guess I it's like making me more aware of, of um, being careful where my emphasis goes like the way i was raised my mother was very negative so she used to always notice ugliness in things and thing and flaws in things and she was always so like that's where i got it from <laughs> oh. no but she would say like look at that fat person she's so fat you know she used to say things like that and so it was really hard for me to get past that and not have that be an automatic thing in my existence to walk around judging everybody or like, oh, look at look her. At the, yeah, she's she gets so offended. skinny. What? Yeah, she was always saying things like that. I'm pretty, I pretty much don't, but whenever I do, like it comes up, like usually when I'm feeling especially mad. down. And yeah, mad. and mad and frustrated and stressed yeah, like, out, like, they like, start coming up. Like I start being all like, ugh jerk that person uh, uh. yeah, cause yeah. You, need to, you need to let it go you can't just hold all of that negativeness and you have to be extremely strong like like this one time you just pop and all of your anger goes out on one thing it's better to just like kind of yep exactly let it for a little while but then let it out sometimes this last question kind of you already answered it's why do you love me you already answered that sort of with the um like, oh my God, that thing. Even if like, you weren't. I brought that to yes, life. Yes, that's right. It's like the right. strongest bond in life. It's like a titanium oh, yep. cuffs. Nobody, there's no love like the love of a mother for her child. Yeah, but apparently Nana Children. didn't feel that. No, she did. She did. But not as much. Like she more had like aluminum cuffs. <laughs> <laughs> No, people have different ways of showing love. It's okay. Um, and yes, because you're really amazing, even if you weren't my child, I would still love you. And I'm so proud of you, like all the time, every day, like, ah! <laughs> Okay, all right, that's all, all right. of the answers yes. and questions and yeah. that's everything.